Yay, hey guys, yay. what is up? This is my attempt to do a vlog, but I'm at JFK. I'm about to fly over to Singapore. I'm going to be doing a transit in Frankfurt. So this is going to be two VTL flights. And I had asked the person at a counter and apparently, even though it's the same flight number for both these legs, you do have to get off the plane at Frankfurt. So anyway, um, we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. But um, yeah, the airport right now is like pretty empty. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's looking pretty empty right now. Um, my flight is at 8.15, so I'll be boarding in about 30 minutes. All right guys, so I'm just chilling here at the gate waiting for a little bit. Um, we are flying Singapore Airlines. Can you guys see? So I thought I would just come on here and share with you guys what the process was when um, we were doing all the paperwork and stuff to be able to fly this flight. Um, I did show everything in digital form. I did not print anything. So in case you guys are wondering, um, or anyone's flying by Singapore, you don't have to print everything. I had to fill out the travel card, is that what it's called? Download Trace Together, also get a negative test. Even though I did get COVID a couple of weeks ago like a month back basically in december i did mostly self-test so i wasn't able to use any of those but if you were tested positive in the last seven to 90 days and you have something official to show them like a like a lab test with a qr code then you'll be able to use that and you won't even have to quarantine when you're back so once i get to singapore or actually once i get to frankfurt i'll come on here again and just talk to you guys and let you guys know how everything was on the flight you guys, I also wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my little Dior outfit. It's my birthday um, gift. And a little Dior bag is what I'm gonna put all my passport and everything in. And then, yep, someone's dior out. So this is the Singapore Airlines. I think it's their business class flight. And then, there we go, regular plebes. Hey guys, so I'm on the flight right now and I feel like they did like a really nice color scheme with the Singapore Airlines flights. Uh, I'll show you guys the little blankie and everything. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a cool color scheme. It makes you feel a little bit more luxe, you know what I mean? I mean like tell me which airline still has like pillows with like a little rim anymore. And yep, blankie. Um my little bags here and they didn't force me to put my Dior book tote all the way up there so that's a huge plus and yeah the little charges here too just to give you guys an idea So it's kind of interesting. So my flight number is the same, but and the gate is the same. But you do have to take everything out of the aircraft and then bring everything back in. Um, but it's fine. Anyway, I got some snacks, <laughs> of course. Haribo. And it's crazy because the Haribo here, the color is kind of different from the ones in New York or the US. This one is a lot more like realistic, the color. I don't know why I'm analyzing snacks on here, but anyway, um, I just, now I'm like really scared of what I've been eating in the US. I feel like the foods in Europe is just in general like better. Anyway, um, I'm just waiting to board. It's gonna be another like hour or so. The flight was really nice. I slept through the entire thing. Um, I don't have to go through any customs or anything like that when I'm in Germany, so that is great. Anyway, so I just arrived in the Singapore airport and yes, finally home. So if you're not vaccinated in Singapore, just FYI, you have to go through the regular immigration. You can't go through the automated one. So I did try to rush down as quickly as I could um to kind of avoid lines but anyway yeah i'm um, just waiting at the immigration now to check in and then i'll let you guys know i have a pcr test that i have to take take as well so i will do that and then i'll talk to you guys later hi right, guys so this is super far walk from the customs all the way to the swap test place but i have approached 
and I'll let you guys know how it is, like how long that walkway is. Oh, I'm sweating. Alright guys, so I just got back to see our swab. It was cool. Um, it was very, very fast. There was no line. They just like move you through. They have like millions of stations. So you just go through, register, show your QR code, get a scan, and then they bring you to the swabbing area where you get swabbed. It took like two seconds, super quick. Oh, I miss how efficient Singapore is. Anyway, I'm walking back now. So once you're done, you walk back into the airport. And yeah guys, so I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the my whole experience in detail. Stuff you need, little tips and tricks too once I get back home. But that's it for the vlog portion of today. Okay, JK guys, I thought I was done with all the COVID stuff. And then I walked through back into the airport and then she gave me this. So they gave me a ART test kit for at home. Um, and I just submitted through a QR code. And then I think days two through seven, I can just do self tests at home, but I don't have to submit them, something like that. But um, it's kind of cool that they gave everyone this as well. So. It's very very organized here you guys like literally people directing you everywhere so yeah so far it's been very pretty easy good morning you guys okay so it's day two for me today i'm like still so not used to vlogging by the way i keep looking like into the screen instead of into the camera whatever anyway um i am actually staying at marina bay sands my friend right now um I got my test back yesterday about five hours after I tested. So I did my PCR the first day at around 7 a.m. ish. And I got the results back around 12.30 ish. So if you guys are traveling to Singapore, just so you know, it takes about like five hours to get your test results back. My friend got back and tested around like 7 p.m. and she got hers back around 11 p.m. so it's kind of like in that same range um we both landed on Saturday so we both actually got the test back like pretty quickly I think considering it was a weekend anyway this was the free kit I showed you guys when I was at the airport so I'm gonna do I'm gonna administer the self-test today um and then like upload it into this QR code. I just finished swabbing, so I just wanted to show you guys the view of the room. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the room room itself later once it's made up because it's like kind of messy right now. But let me go ahead and show you guys the view here. Look how beautiful. The curtains obviously can go further back, but um there we go okay guys we just ordered room service and we have they have like two options which is like american breakfast and i believe chinese breakfast or singapore breakfast i'm not sure but anyway here's what it looks like my friend's just like moving <laughs> moving chairs around this is the american one and then we have the nasi lamak which is the asian one is obviously you should pick the nasi lemak because it comes with like a chicken and this and all the sauces yes anyway we're gonna have some breakfast by the view with the view facing the view um and i'll talk to you guys later okay guys so i am at home right now and this is my day seven so i'm just finishing up my last art test and once that's done, I'm basically done. I don't have to do any more testings before I go out. So yeah, that's just a little update. It's been pretty easy so far, but you do have to buy your own ART test kits um, when you're in Singapore. So just a little note, it's not free. The first one I got was free when they were giving out at the airport, but not everybody gets that apparently. So anyway, guys, I hope this information has been helpful. I probably have been doing a horrible, horrible job looking into the camera, but um, it's my first vlog that I'm going to publish. So hopefully you guys will be kind. Drop a comment if you have any other questions. I hope you guys have a great one. And thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.